Today we're fixing up our capillary mat table for some of our seed starters that we uh, have under lights. And uh, this is a homemade light fixture that we just made out of uh, some uh, T8 fixtures we bought from Home Depot. Pretty cheap, wired them up and they plug right into our outlet there. Underneath this table we have a piece of plywood that's wrapped in plastic, a heating mat, and then we're going to cover this with what's called capillary mat we get from farm tech and then behind it at the very end is just a simple little trough which will have one end of the capillary mat in fill it with water and the plants through capillary action will draw water through the mat and keep the plants fed or prevent them from dehydrating and keep them well watered so this comes in a 100 foot roll from Farm Tech. You can get it for about 110 bucks. And uh, we've been working on the same roll for a couple of years for various different things. And it really works great. It's very absorbent. It looks just like felt. And in a sense, it is a form of felt. But if you use regular, like uh, hobby felt, you'll probably be disappointed because it won't wick up the water as well. Fits right in, the right width, and then what we'll do is we'll just cut the end of this to match up past the plastic. This I mismeasured. Is it it's done okay and we just to show you how the seedlings look these are some of our fall snapdragons that we're going to be bumping up here in the next day or so as you can see it fits perfectly on the table and my lovely assistant will wet down you could use probably the flood And we put the seedling tray right on it. And since it's all kind of dampened down, then we'll, uh, the only thing left to do is put a little water in the gutter. And these seedlings should uh, be keeping nice, nice and moist. Then what we do is we just wet down the other parts of it. And we'll get the rest of the trays in. Fill up the gutter with water to about two-thirds full. You got to make sure that the end of the capillary mat is still in the gutter. And that's all there is to it. Get the last couple of trays. It's up there. This table is designed to hold five 1020 trays, which for 300s is 1500 blocks. And we don't have to overhead water these guys at all. This capillary mat will bring it up. Uh, we don't leave them on there very long. We make sure that we move the trays daily so that they don't root into the mat. But uh, what you can see is 
they do rather well on a capillary mat. These guys are ready for bump up, these foxglove, as well as the uh, snapdragons. Thanks for watching today. Bye.